The game is tied 10 to 10. Now, here, here's the story. The Bears are entitled to a free kick. A fair kick. Signal four. Here's the rule. After a party clock, on the next play, you're entitled to a free kick for a field goal. Here's the blue clock. It is. Debated this week, they traded for him in an exchange of disappointing draft picks. Wait a minute, are they bringing out? Yeah, I the think field goal unit. What you just said, pal? Huh? Phil Dawson's longest career field goal is 56 yards, and that was about five years ago. This is awesome. This Brad is a free Nessler, kick. It's you are the man. <laughs> it is. It is a rule that is so buried. <laughs> but a free kick following a punt fair catch in a situation like this, you can. Go ahead and take a crack at it. So Dawson, the last successful free kick was Ray Wershing in 1976. Nice. How did you come up with that one? That was my man Pat McGrath on that go, one. Patrick. I had no idea. This is really, I've never seen one live. The players don't even know the rules. Look at look at the Rams out there. They have no idea what they can or can't do. Right. Their coaches are all sprint It's fast a free kick. They can't rush. Right. This is completely free, so why not, right? The fans have no clue. The fans are looking around here going, what is this? They're kicking off? Why are they kicking off? Again, it's going to be a 71-yard <laughs> try on a free kick. This is a great job by Jim Harbaugh and by Brad Nessler. And he can run up on this thing like a kickoff. On the way. And wide to the left. Now, this can be returned as well. And the Rams are trying it. We see a little bit of everything. Pettis brings it back out to the 10-yard line. Pettis wasn't even down. <laughs> Here we go. Mason Crosby from 69 yards out on the free kick. The crowd here at Lambeau's loving this. That is uh, Matt Flynn, the rookie out of LSU, doing the holding. What do you think, Lynchy? Is he get it close? Well, you know, he's going into the wind. He, he, you know, Mason said right before the game, this is the way the, the, the wind blows in your face. But it's got a chance. <laughs> oh, it's just <laughs> short. Wow, that ended up about three yards short. But an outstanding effort by Mason Crosby. So the free kick from 69 yards out oh. is just that short so reach it from 50 yards 55 yards Schrittner. fair catch at midfield now he can free kick it from there and they can't rush him that's what i would do i would i would take the free kick in fact i think they're going to do it They have to stay back off the line of scrimmage. They can't rush him if that's what they choose to do. It would be interesting to see if the players even know that rule. You know, when I was a coach, I was a coach, head coach for 10 years. I always knew that rule, always wanted to use it, and never got the opportunity. I saw it done once. I did too. Paul Brown did it. I saw Paul Brown do it. In fact, the 49ers are doing it. Look, the fans don't know what's going on. The fans don't know what's going on. The Vikings don't know what's no. going on. The 49er coaching staff has to tell the 49ers. Look, the referees getting up. They're telling the Vikings get back. Look, you Jerry Martin. back. That's yeah, a free kick. You got to give him 10 yards. The guy I saw do it was in Detroit. Didn't make it. But the guy I saw try it was Wayne Walker, who is now the 49ers radio broadcaster. Wayne Walker did it? Didn't no make linebacker. It. Right. Well, like I say the fans don't know what, what they just said. They thought it was a kickoff, I'm sure. That's the end of the first half with the score. San Francisco 21, Minnesota. Like Ray, he's out there saying, hey, I'm going to kick this ball through the uprights and we're going to have three points. <laughs> don't have to worry about all that. Just line up and I'm going to kick it. And if it's successful, it would make the score 26 to 13. And the margin would be 13 points. Well, the thing about it would, it would do for the Colts would give them an added uh, bonus, little incentive going in at halftime. It would take something away from the field goal that the Patriots just kicked. And in addition, it would probably 
take half of New England's halftime away from them because you know they're going to discuss what happened and what's the rule on that one. Yeah. Wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> there you see the distance that a kick uh, has to cover. Yeah, now you cannot use a kicking tee. And so Ron Stark will be the holder. And interesting, the Colts knew part of it. They knew that they could have a field goal attempt. They didn't know that it could be here without a snap. It's going to be 61 yards. Yep. Based on the 49-yard line, the 10 yards of the end zone. Now, this is within his range. A lot of times, the, the kickers will kick off. Now he can, he, he's only going to be able to take his uh, normal steps. See, that's all he wants to. He can take whatever he wants to. This is very comfortable with here. It's short. And after all of that, Roland James will down it in the end zone. Now, we still have three seconds, and New England will get the ball. And they're going to say, of course, following a field goal attempt, that is no good. We get it back at the line of scrimmage. Run it back. Robot, 11th round draft pick out of Kansas. Denver playing for the run back. Hubach, a pressure pop and a fair catch called for at the 37-yard line. Three seconds remaining on the clock. Well, they don't have much of a shot, but they had a little shot. That could have been a big mistake by New England. Seems to be a little scuffle down on the field. And, of course, for Denver, I would say the one thing to do is just to hang it up there the best you can. Hope you get an interference call. And, of course, the half cannot end on a defensive foul. Denver has the ball at their own 37-yard line. They have brought Fred Steinfort into the game. Now, we have told you about Steinfort for Denver. He kicked one against Dallas at 55 yards. But I don't think Steinfort's foot could reach this. <laughs> Now, that might be asking a little bit too much. Well, of course, you do. After a fair catch, you get a free kick. Free kick time. You have an option to put the ball in play, either from scrimmage or as a free kick. You don't see this very often. Matt Robinson will hold. He can either punt it or tip the field goal. And this punt is going to be from the 37-yard line. A tremendous distance for anyone. The holder be off 73 yard attempt. And of course, along the ground, taken there by New England. Tim Fox running it out. And of course, time has expired in the first half. So the Patriots in front of the home town crowd are leading the Denver Broncos 10 to 7. 